and I had the opportunity to have my video shut off there and nope I'm not quitting because I'm on the right path and I have little gremlins that'll jump in in electronic world and say yeah are you sure about that and the answer is yeah I'm very sure I know exactly what I'm doing and I'm really on target with where I am and what I'm doing and the reason I'm talking about it to uh, YouTube though or anybody who would watch this is to say what it is to be in the flow of the now and in synchronicity is not to be fancy pants and say look at me it's to say it's scary I cried my eyeballs out last night last night with you know the impending visit that I'm getting from the person that's coming is coming to inspect my house and you know it it's not my home anymore. It wasn't my choice to do it that way. And the inspection of it, uh, the implication that, what did you think I was gonna do? You know, pull the pen and throw it on my way out and torch the place. I mean, it was a little insulting. However, I grappled with it last night and had beautiful experience with two different friends that are new to me and a whole new way of life of receiving information from people that's not, you know, the wrong frequency. It just feels so much better, you know, to have people who care in the way that I can understand and they can understand me and be truly available on a completely different energetic level for one another and it's beautiful and I'm not anywhere near as sloppy and clingy and messy and emotionally you know blown apart all the time I still have my broken heart about things I'm not happy about you know heartbreak however if I'm gonna be in heartbreak I sure as hell don't want to sit around in it and not make that stuff work for me and get out of it and cut myself loose from those energetic ties and also not because I'm a martyr and I'm just so glorious but because it's just the right thing to do to close this all out in the right way Way that divinity is telling me every step of my day how to clear it out so that energetically it seals all those borders for not just me for the whoever the is and there's tons of energy associated with just years and years and years of pack rat stuff and you know memories that we don't want to let go of that and we don't want to let go of that and just drop and run out of fear somebody's got to clear it out of here and why shouldn't it be me you know Nancy Kerrigan it's not fair it isn't fair and I would rather, I would rather it clear the air for every single person in me and everybody out there in energy that benefits from that being closed out, sealed and done. There aren't any energetic medusas that are activating somewhere. It's properly handled and anywhere anyone would say, hey, what happened to that? I can say I properly moved it on to its most appropriate spot and so i'm getting this call a few minutes ago about the impending visitor who wants to take pictures and like okay and i ignored it and the guy didn't leave a voicemail however he sent a text message and said yeah i'll be there around nine like cool that's actually going to work just fine and i was feeling a little bit disheveled and like uh you know okay i was going to wrap up in a few minutes anyway out here because this is just kind of a drag a little bit i mean there's something cleansing and purging about it however it's a reminder of all the things that i no longer have in my life including you know people that whether good bad or in between we had a lot of years together five decades some of us and you know three for others and my children for the age that they are they're still in my lives however because of poor communication and miscommunication just a lot of misinformation bad information and hurt feelings and you know just devastating choices on my part and everybody else's however let's get to the fun part which is i just finished up you know reading that text and sending another one back saying hey can you you know give me a 10 minute heads up so i can put my dogs in the backyard and not have that turn into you know an absolute barking nightmare where i'm going to be on edge already answering the door and then they're going to add to my chaos and confusion of mm, you know and feelings so i like to set myself up for success you know put those effie trinkerton odds in my favor and i don't have to scare anybody to do it that's the best part so what i found though the reason i had to hop on in my garage with my nose running and you know dirty hands and stuff is because i moved a box and the last box that i moved the last box i intended to move and that i'm going to move that was it was just to move it closer to another one to organize and it is the entire shed skin of a snake that it was there's the you know outside there and it was over there near the butt wipe you know how interesting right 
And that's a long way for that snake to come and shed its skin. Now, I've never had a snake in my house exactly. I had a little baby one that got brought in off the back porch by uh, Mr. Butters and, you know, <laughs> helped that one get out the door. Um, I didn't enjoy that. I don't really love the reptile species a whole lot, however, or the genre. Uh, however, you know, I didn't want to kill it and uh, it wasn't his fault. He got transported inside by a very curious cat that fortunately he doesn't live here anymore. Um, and the albino, she sticks to, you know, spiders and stuff and not, you know, attacking the, uh, the reptiles or the snakes or what have you. However, that's a long way to go for Mr. or Mrs. Snake to leave behind proof to Kate that, hey, there you go. You got to transform. You got to shed the old. You have to be able to let go and not in drims and drams. Let that whole thing go, baby. Let it go and let the man in, take his pictures, do what you got to do. And I thought, okay, cool. I'm getting the message. This is really rocking my world. And the next thing I saw when I moved it the rest of the way after I stopped, you know, moving the box and picked up the snake skin. At first, I thought it was just a piece of a bag or something that was trash. And I said, oh, I better take another. Divinity said, take another look at that because I'm not sure that that's really what I think I see. And indeed, it was not. It looked like it could have been, you know, the top of a bag that had been ripped off. And if I wasn't listening very closely, I could have missed entirely Snake's beautiful transformation, transmutation energy being beamed right to me and synergistically holding it in my hands and understanding what it took for that snake to do that and to release and let go of all of it just all at one time i hope it's not a painful process for him don't know just know that i'm honoring absolutely snake thank you for leaving this proof to me that i'm i'm hooked into my divinity just fine and it doesn't matter whether anybody else agrees or thinks i'm weird or whatever is i'm hooked into my divine and that's who i answer to not to anybody who's coming for an inspection or to, you know, anyone else who has a thought one way or the other, because that's what I'm all about is, you know, being in my own skin and transforming and transmuting as I need to, to shed out the old layers that don't work anymore and to teach other people how to do that too, as beautifully as possible and without as uh, difficult a path and without all the brutality, because it's just not necessary. We have grief, we have to deal with that. We have anger, we have to deal with our feelings. However, the snake doesn't need to bite, you know, and strike 200 people before it sheds its skin. It gets cranky, its eyes get blurred, and it needs to go to a place and kind of rest and do its thing. So this one came into the hibernation place of my garage, which it felt safe enough to come into, and I'm blessed that it did. And it was safe enough and felt safe enough to shed its skin and then leave the reminder call for Kate of here, this is what happens. This is what I do as I'm out there in real world being a Mabubu self without that old skin and a whole new layer of me is out there being free. And after I moved that box over and picked up the skin and noticed that's what it was, this was the bookmark <laughs> that was on the ground and I knew instantly what it was, because if you watch the video about the altar that I had built, um, that's moved, it's onto a, um, a dresser at the moment. However, when I built the altar, uh, one of the many iterations of it on top of the dog crate, I had a journal that was left behind here and abandoned, and I kept trying to put it in the garage, and I just kept, you know, no, that, that's not it. And it, I said, what do I need to do with this journal? Because it's not mine, I don't really want it. You know, I don't like it. And it was that I really just didn't want the bookmark. I liked the journal itself. However, I don't appropriate stuff unless I know that even if it's abandoned, I just don't like to do that. It's not my style. And I put the bookmark in the Goodwill stuff and somehow magically it ended up on the floor face down and was right there for me to know instantly after I moved away the box and found snakeskin and went, oh, there's hope. And I looked and, yeah, there sure is. And I haven't any need whatsoever to keep this um, bookmark. Any